What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today we're gonna explore the new Windows 11 build in a virtual machine. So I'm gonna go along with the process with you guys so that you can see everything I'm doing and see what the new build looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and install VirtualBox onto my current Windows 10 machine. So we will download the Windows host. We'll click on install. And I want to give a quick shout out to Todd M and Leslie Media. Thank you so much for becoming channel subscribers. If you want to help um, support this channel, click on that join button below. You'll get access to shout outs and videos like this and live stream archives and a bunch of other goodies. So we're going to go through this virtual box install. We're going to install everything. Um, I'm going to place this actually on my two terabyte drive and name that virtual box. And we'll install. All right, so VirtualBox is installed. And um, here's what it looks like for now. We're going to go ahead and add, or actually, we're going to make a new um, virtual machine. And we're going to name this Windows 11. Uh, we'll change this to other Windows 64 bit. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, we're going to give this, let's say, 8 gigs of RAM. I have 16, I think. Do I have 16 or 32? I have 32. So 8 gigs is fine, though. Um, we'll, we'll give it a quarter of the memory. Let's see. We're going to create a virtual hard disk, um, and it's going to be 20 gigabytes, but that will increase in size if we add more stuff to it. We can leave this as a virtual box image. Dynamically allocated, again, that means that it can um, grow um, up to a size. Um, and then we're gonna make this, let's say, let's make it 60 gigabytes. And I'm gonna put this also on my two terabyte drive into the Did I move that the wrong way? Thought I had a VB folder there. I'm gonna save that right there and hit create. All right, so now we have this Windows 11 machine. Uh, we're gonna go to settings and we're going to go through all of the options and make sure that everything is set properly. So for the motherboard, that's fine, eight gigs of memory. We wanna give it access to, let's say four, uh, acceleration, that's fine. Display, we wanna give it as much video memory as possible. Uh, enable 3D acceleration. Good. And then storage is where we're gonna add the actual installation CD. So we're gonna click on this um, live CD here, or this uh, virtual drive. We're gonna click on the CD icon and choose a disk file. And I'm gonna go to my uh, super secret installation disk and press okay. And let's go ahead and start the machine and see what happens. We do have a Windows icon, a logo. It's a little stretched, but that's fine. All right, so we have a Windows setup now. Looks very similar to the old Windows 7 and 10 setups. Let's go ahead and install now. Let's see if it looks any different. We're gonna choose, I don't have a product key. And here it is, we have all the Windows 11 different editions installed. So let's see, we're gonna just choose Windows 11 Pro. Interesting to see the different versions. We have Home, I'm not sure what the N stands for. Um, education, Pro, Pro Education, and Pro for Workstations. And maybe Server or Network Edition, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and go with Pro.
All right. So it looks like we now have our licensing terms. It is going very, very slowly. So I think I need to go in and adjust some of the settings later or restart the VM. But we're just going to get through this install um, the old fashioned way. Let's go ahead and choose custom. We're going to choose that one. We'll hit new. Why not? All right, so now it's installing Windows 11. Very exciting. Windows 11 Pro, actually. And this will just take some time. Now I do want to note, I did change the display driver to uh, get it working because it wasn't working with the default display driver. So I switched it to um, the VBox uh, display driver, which worked fine. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the audio. And we have the new Windows 10. Uh, let's go ahead and close this. Let's choose United States. Very nice rounded interface. Skip the keyboard layout. We're going to set up for personal use. And uh, we're not going to sign in with our personal account because we don't want necessarily people to know that we're uh, using Windows 11. So we're going to make an offline account. Nope, it tricked me. Let's make let's see so we're gonna make Mike the tester. <laughs> I'm not the first one. Mike the tester seven. I don't really care. All right, so we're going to make a pin. Super simple pin. Maybe not give them my location data. Customize the experience. So this is the kinds of ads and suggestions you're going to get. So we'll skip that. Uh, only store on this device, pushing OneDrive. 
installation process is or the customization process or setup is quite a long process. All right, so look at this, this nice little fold out, interesting. So that's the new Windows menu. And this is Windows 10, no, Windows 11, sorry. Let's see, can we go to full screen? Not quite yet, let's see. We might be able to install the guest editions and get this into into full screen. Let's try that and see if it works in Windows 11. So let's install these. Reboot. This will also let us know if the uh, VM is fully installed and working properly. Should have a pretty fast boot time now. That little glitch in how it looked is actually a good thing because it means that the graphics or display driver has switched. Oh, we can. Perfect. There we go. So we have Windows 11 in full screen and it's working properly. Perfect. So um, nice. Here's our side window. It's no longer on the right side. It's on the left side. Let's see what loads up here. Absolutely nothing. Perfect. Great. Um, and then we have our task view. We can make different desktops. That's very cool. I hear you can make a uh, a different background for each desktop as well. So if I change it to, oh, I need to activate Windows first. Okay, that's fair. Well, we can switch between different desktops with different items on them. Um, and then our new start menu, of course, is in the center. The thing that I actually like a lot is um, the new rounded edges, especially in this uh, menu right here. It really modernizes the menu. I'm so used to seeing that square edge on, on every Windows that I've ever used. So this is interesting. I'm going to use this for a while and then do another video, uh, kind of an overview of what I think about the system so far. It's obviously very new. Um, not all the features are integrated yet, but the look is definitely very different. So uh, this is kind of exciting to see. So we still have our notification tray on the right. We just have this new slide out bar on the left. So that's interesting. Uh, let me know what you want to know about the new Windows 11. And thank you so much for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too. And it's called Stream Savers. And it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.